Welcome back everybody. In this video we're going to talk about regression lines, lines of best fit, and uh, introduce that with scatter plots here. Um, if you look at this example we have a scatter plot and if you look at the data it seems to trend in sort of an upward direction. And what we can do is we can pick a um, equation to model that and we can pick a linear equation and if we have a linear equation we of course need two points for the line to go through approximating the two points maybe this one here maybe this one here and see if we were to draw a straight line through I'm just drawing a hand a handwritten line so it's not exact but this equation does have the format y equals mx plus b And looking at these two points here, 1, 0, 8, 4, just it's an approximation. And what we could do is we could use those two points, go through the work to find the actual equation of the line, and go from there. Now what I'm going to show you is a couple examples using Desmos. Uh, Desmos, a great calculator um, to use for lots of things. Uh, I'm going to show how to use that with data points here, and we can... Tell Desmos to program the regression line and find what's called the correlation coefficient just to see how closely uh, the line that is created matches the data. All right, so on Desmos here, um, I'll bring that up here, but we're going to, the this, this situation is New England Patriots 2008 football season, the heights and weights of the wide receivers. We're going to use Desmos to find that linear regression and correlation coefficient. So here I have, now just in case you're wondering how we to enter this in Desmos, it's desmos.com. Um, if you click on the plus sign, you can add a table and you just copy the values you need. Notice it automatically went to an X1, Y1. That is just their notation for um, X and Y for, for that particular example. Now, to make a regression equation, Normally it looks like this, mx plus b, but instead of y, we're going to use y1, instead of x, we're going to use x1, and instead of an equal sign, we'll use this little tilde. And then by doing that, as you can see, instantaneously, it gave us um, the values of the equation of the line here. Um, the slope 3.56938, the y-intercept, the b number negative 60.63, and r right here, the correlation coefficient 0.6994. All right, so that says how closely related it is. So if we were to write that as an equation, y equals 3.56. 938x minus 60.6364. There we go. There's our equation, our correlation, the, ro the linear regression equation. This equation best fits the data. And uh, the correlation coefficient of 0.693. So it's not too close to one it fits it but it could it's, it's not exact it could be a little bit tighter that's what this r number is telling us here all right so there's that equation okay let's do another example here and we'll apply it in a different format okay tom kept track of the number of minutes it took him to assemble sandwiches at his restaurant Use Desmos to find a linear regression equation and correlation coefficient. Use that equation to predict the number of minutes it would take Tom to make 12 sandwiches. All right, so when it's all said and done, we will have an equation that looks like this. And what we'll do with that equation is put 12 in for x and um, up actually... Yeah, I just want the general format here. Hang on. Y equals mx plus b. 
And then once we'd establish those values for M and B, we'll take this 12 and we'll put it in for X right here. And that'll tell us a uh, prediction for the number of minutes it would take Tom to make 12 sandwiches. So number of sandwiches, that's going to be our X. Number of minutes, that's going to be our Y. Okay. Uh, let's go back to Desmos. And let's get a new table and a new equation going. So I'm going to hit the plus sign, table, and I'll put my values in here. One, two, four, six, and seven for the Y's. Three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, remember X was the number of sandwiches, and Y is the number of minutes it takes to make that number of sandwiches. Go down here, Y1 represents the Y column. Use the tilde, M, X1, plus B. And then instantaneously it calculates us for it. So our equation looks like Y equals 0 0.615385X plus 2.538. Four, six. Just type that there so you can see that. All right. Um, and notice the correlation coefficient, r equals 0 0.9923. That means, the correlation coefficient means it's really close to positive 1. It means there is a very, very strong positive correlation. If you look over here, it graphed it for us. All right. And um, remember back on our problem here. We wanted to know how many minutes it would take to predict um, how many. Let's predict how many minutes it would take him to to create twelve sandwiches. Well, here's that equation. Make it a little bit bigger so we can see it. And then remember, we're taking twelve, and we're plugging it in right here. All right, so you're taking 12 times 0.615385 plus 2.538846, and that will give us um, approximate number of minutes it takes him to make 12 sandwiches. Um, what we can do, we can, you should be able to do use Desmos to find that. So how we can do that is we can make a vertical line, x equals 12. And notice on the graph, it's a vertical line right at 12. And where the two lines intersect answers our question. Right there at 12, 9.923. The 9.923 means minutes. That is approximately how many minutes it takes him to make 12 sandwiches. So if we put 12 in here, this is going to be about... 9.9 .9 minutes, close to 10 minutes. That's how long it would take him to make those sandwiches. And there you go. Hopefully this helps. You can see how Desmos is useful, how we can make a linear regression equation for it, and answer questions about that. Thank you for watching.